Namaste. Namaste. Um, thank you, Muji. I thought you selected me before, so I came. I it's apologize. fine. You're here. No, no, don't apologize. Um, I have something to report, and yeah. then I want to ask a question. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to you and your team for making all of this available on, the, on YouTube. Yes. And thank you, God, for the Internet. I, I, you, this is my first uh, live retreat, and um, about a year and a half ago, I lost my husband to cancer, and um, you saved my life. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Muji, and thank you to your team for making this available on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm still on the pendulum. You you still not? On the pendulum. pendulum. You, you you think you're on the pendulum? Okay, okay. Pendulum uh, means what? That uh, it must mean uh, when the pendulum swings in, you feel ah, I'm here. Hallelujah. <laughs> when it swings out, oh my God. <laughs> I really am not there. When am I going to find it? Then it swings in. <sighs> goes out. <laughs> so something watches this. For a while, if you identify with these moods and mood swings, you think, "Oh my God, you know, sometimes I feel I'm there, next time I'm not there, and so on. But at a certain point, something is there watching this pendulum. And it is not on the pendulum. Do you know this or not? Yes. Okay. And um, there is no sangha in my town. There are. I live kind of in the Bible Belt of the U.S., where there are all kinds of churches, but I couldn't find any spiritual help. So again, thank you for YouTube. Thank you. Yes. Uh, um, and uh, I work in an academic environment, so I get contaminated every day, pretty much. Uh, um, so I follow your pointings of uh, let life be your satsang. And uh, of course, I also got um, an overdose of uh, YouTube videos, seriously. I, that's all I do on my free time. Yeah. Just watch your YouTubes, and again, I'm so thankful. I would never have imagined that the most difficult uh, time in my life would also be the greatest blessing. Yes. Thank you to you. Yes. I was coming to this because, see, you may feel, you know, I have no Sangha in my village, I have my town, in my, I have no Sangha there. You are the Sangha there, you see. You have nobody to speak to about it, and so on. And as you say, you're in a work in a very academic field, and so you know it feels like it's a lot of it's a lot there. Nevertheless, you're going to see even that um, cannot uh, cannot damage the isness. In fact, the isness even supports it, gives it life also. It is not giving life to the isness. You need not be afraid. At some point, you're going to see you have no enemy in the world. You have turned everything. You see, everything becomes your 
your servant, your an expression of the beloved, even when you have conquered uh, the egoic identity. While we are still under the influence of this, you know, uh, yeah, now here I go. I'm sweet. It's just identity. It's just false identity is at the root of all suffering on this planet. And nevertheless, it's not a decision any single being started making. It's as though, all, just like all the beings living in the ocean are wet, all the beings who come into manifestation get conditioned. We have to taste it, and it feels like that is the world you know. And still, something is working to to. Elevate your uh, the consciousness, even involuntarily, even if in that unit. I don't want to. Can you make a decision one day? Listen, today I'm not going to experience. <laughs> no, it's not up to you. Even if you go into a cardboard box and close it up and don't see anybody, you cannot stop experiencing. You cannot stop perceiving. And through this uh, this uh, valve of perceiving. Your internal work moves. You cannot run away from yourself. It will keep coming. You see, something is compelled to to learn, to look, to move beyond every definition you put down. Something will break that boundary. The more you are open to this, and here you are, you have tasted whatever level you may be at. You have tasted the same thing, this sense of the of of unbound something, nothingness in you. At one point, uh, maybe you somebody tell you about these things, you say, "Ah, hocus pocus, nonsense." But uh, you, somehow you are experiencing the feel. And once recognized profoundly. Continually baptizing the mind in the seeing. That is, all your life is graced and blessed by that seeing. It's not that you have to go and fix this thing here and fix this thing here, and just one medicine for everything. In India, you often go into shops and things and, and see, you know, yes, one medicine for everything. <laughs> I think Indians like this type of thing. In the pharmacy, yeah, for everything, it cures everything. Mm-hmm. Even broken hearted, everything doesn't matter. You know. <laughs> Cancer, you know, sort of, um, you know, arthritis, everything. Mm-hmm. Anxiety, insomnia, everything. You see? None of it is true. Only this is true. Discovering the truth of yourself, not the believed truth, the actuality of what is, and honouring it, bears instant fruit. You see, it doesn't matter. God has placed you perfectly where you are for now, that you may, you know, you have to turn inward. There was one uh, member I can think of at you know, She was in Sangha and uh, uh, the support of the Sangha all the time. They, and they so love each other and everything like that. Then one time we, we, we had to leave uh, where we were in Mantisaja to go to London. And in those days, early days, not many people in Mantisaja. And But uh, she could not come because she could not get a visa to come to London. So had to stay, had to stay. In in uh, uh, in uh, uh, Portugal, and I think it was for like three weeks I had to stay. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, then after three weeks, could come only to London for one night as one stop on the way to going back to the United States. When I saw her, I was very surprised. When we talked, <laughs> ninja. <laughs> 
I said, this is very good. How is so good? Because no space to socialize. I had to focus and had to find this teaching and to find it here, not here. And everything became focused. So sometimes you are put in the place well, you're always in the place actually. Wherever you may find yourself, right there is a door to your inmost being. Don't think, oh, I have no sangha. No sangha. Hmm? The self doesn't need any friends. If it puts you in this alone on an island, and it's only you, mosquitoes and crabs, you, will, you are going to be. That's going to be the perfect environment for you to go inside and. Thank you, thank you that I, I, I was alone in such a way. I had to go in. My family lives uh, far away also, so I always like that. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to face all of this alone. Even the long process of my husband dying very slowly, and but it was actually the best, the greatest blessing too. Yeah, yeah. I'm so so thankful, so thankful. I have yes. no words to thank you, Muji. Yes, yes. Very and um, um, my person is a very anxious, hyperactive. I'm the planner you always mention, mm -hmm. but all of that is slowly fading away. Very good. And I am. I, I'm so thankful for the emptiness you have given me. Yeah. It's been the greatest gift in my life. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. What a paradox. Yeah. I gave you nothing. <laughs> And for that you are you are supremely happy. <laughs> I give you something. Oh, thank you, thank you. I give you nothing. You see, so fulfilled. Thanks for nothing. Would you? Um, my question is. Um, so many years I lost my dad, and through the years I have felt his energy. Yes. And in the Catholic upbringing, we learn about the angels that are with you when they when they die. And um, but uh, with my husband's loss, has been a little bit more difficult to feel the energy, I guess, because I'm in this idea of the oneness, and I think I'm a little stuck there. Was all this energy I felt from my dad just imagined, or is it um, actually real that people, that beings after they leave this world, they are still kind of with us, or is it really just imagined? So I, I just want to. It's all true, also, because um, uh, also when you are more in the state of the relationship identity, uh, it it sustains that uh, connectedness that. Because uh, death is not the death that we think of, you know. You're not the one in the grave, you know. You see, so yes, uh, the that uh, their 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 soul is still alive in that way, and uh, they whatever attachment and love they may have had, it's much higher in a more higher way, and maybe they come to be with uh, the people that they love or care about. As you as you evolve into higher states of consciousness, you see. Uh, yeah. Is and, uh, it? Yeah. I, yes. Um, you don't want to hear I don't, what I have to say. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Um, I don't fear death anymore. Yes. Um, I am. I don't feel bad for everything that happened. I. I'm very. I. I think I'm very sure my husband is doing well. Yes. Um, and but sometimes I get stuck in this like um, maybe it's more that that may be more the mind sometimes when it comes back, the idea I want to hold up to this nostalgia of the life we had together, yes, and I don't want to let go of that, yes, and yeah. that may be sometimes what makes me get stuck. With sometimes moving forward, yeah, but it brings you back into that nostalgia holds holds a shape, mm -hmm. and also holds his spirit into a kind of shape a little bit, no? That something wants to feel that that connectedness also, which is which is fine, you know. 
because it's not the same way that things play on this plane. You see, it's not that he's he's stuck with you. You know, his being is much more broad than that, much higher. Um, uh, so um, for you, I'm more concerned that you don't worry. Everything is fine. You know, he is with his Lord. That's fine. Don't worry. You now have been somehow open to a much deeper thing than perhaps many people would have understood. They may still have a very strong sense of identity and individuality, and that is fine also. They continue in the stages of evolution in this kind of way. But uh, you have a chance to, to see from the place, from can there be uh, an evolution inside the formless? You don't have to think so much. Just let, I'll let the question uh, bring you to yourself and see. Can you be more what you are, or less what you are not? You see, don't calculate. Just be open to the all possible. You see, and. Uh, honor that which you, which is revealed in you. Just honor that. Be grateful for this. Be grateful for this. You know. I, I am and, very grateful. Yeah. Uh, I say this because it protects you against any arrogance, mm-hmm. and keeps a sense of humility, which keeps your being very open. You see. I, I do yeah. think that um, I follow your pointing also because of my anxiety. And um, also every day going into work with this uh, very intellectual environment that sort of mm. uh, takes my energy away. Um, it helps in the yeah. Though you do say, you say that it's good to be lazy in in in, in the way that uh, you mean not just work and think. Um, you know when you go into this what you call this intellectual environment, academic environment. You know, mm-hmm. you don't worry about any of these mm-hmm. things. You know, there are still beings. There are beings. There are living beings. Mm-hmm. Who is who is the business also uh, yeah. unrecognized at the moment? Maybe mm-hmm. you don't worry about that. You just be clear in yourself. Carry on your work, yeah, in, and in, you don't know the miracles of the supreme. It, it helps in them. Like every morning, I have to sort of discipline myself to try to just wake up a little early and uh, just try to um, meditate a little bit, just be with myself. So then yes. I get the energy for the day. This is very good. Uh, that was tough for me, yeah. but I, you you say that for some people that may help, and so I tried it, and, and yeah. it did help. Yes. Um, yes. But you are not a survivor. You are not here to survive. Your life itself, and the most beautiful life, actually. You see. So don't feel, you know, well, I'm, you know, I'm in the midst of, uh, you know, I'm surrounded by academics. No, no. no. <laughs> see, I don't feel that anymore. No, no. Okay. I used to at the beginning. I ah, think. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing here? Yeah. Um, so. And you come up in your brightness, you know. You're not demonstrating anything. Just you're you're comfortable in your own being. No, all my relationships move. have improved actually <laughs> in that, the academic world. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. has to. Yeah, because and, people uh, don't. No matter how much we are conditioned by our environment, a, a true living being attracts us. You know, it maybe is a mirror that that reminds people like, whoa, you know, I need to take it easy. You know, like I want to. You may one time be sitting in a in a restaurant having a cappuccino or something by yourself, taking a rest, and somebody may just come over to you and say, thank you so much. <coughs> Do I know you? No, no, you don't know me. But I always feeling very anxious in my mind. And I was sitting here trying to figure out the next move, and I just saw you, and you just seemed like a picture of peace. I don't know, and I couldn't take my eyes off you. I just felt so peaceful. I felt like, what's what's all this stuff going on? I'm just so happy. So thank you so much. You know, I said, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> These things happen, you know, all the time, all the time. We go into shops, and maybe the shopkeeper is in a bit of a mood, and you know, yeah, so what do you want? 
Um, <laughs> it's okay, you can serve him first. It's okay, you sit there. Okay, okay, what do you want? Okay, can I bring something? And gradually you see the come and say, Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry, it's just been a full day and things like that. And how can I help you? And, uh, <laughs> you watch the change come over people so often. It's true. You see? Because they, their being begins to somehow ab absorb something, even unintentionally. And they feel again calm and they say, Oh, you know, on some level they may not understand what is happening, but they are benefiting from it. Yeah, I, I had one person that I had to interview and he was just mad and attacking me and then by the end of our conversation he invited me to his farm and to go in. And <laughs> so, all the but, time it happened, all yeah. the time. Yeah. Because you don't hold any hostility in your heart. At a certain point you're not going to be able to do it, to hold any hostility. Your life becomes like a writing on water. You cannot read it five seconds later. It's gone. It doesn't linger in holding on to memories, beautiful or not. It's so fresh. It's so wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. And I'm what so what what will continue unfolding? You stay and seek. Just keep looking like yeah. that and see what happens. And continue. I don't ask anybody leave your life. Go and live barefoot up in the mountains or nothing like that. <laughs> No, you don't have any mountains here anyway, but uh, <laughs> ride around. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's it, uh, just like this, you, you, as you move, it, that it, it infiltrates the life in such a beautiful way, pervades everything. Gradually, 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 as much as you can bear, because sometimes something can move so powerfully and you have to take time to kind of catch up. Your, your being has to gradually stabilize and and come into harmony with that. The impact can feel so strong. Otherwise, it's just seeping in. And as I said earlier, life will keep sending you little, little clues. It could be to do with a contact you have with someone, and the mind is reacting a certain way, but uh, some intuition tells you, no, don't go like that, and go with this. And you follow it, and it just phew, makes beautiful things happen. And you're becoming more, more sensitive, more sensitized, to reading these uh, these uh, subtle clues from God, I would say it like that, and uh, it, it's a very beautiful way of moving in life. You see. Thank you. Can I get a hug? Yeah, it's come. Thank you. Very great. Look at that. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful.